What's up guys, this is Sam. Sorry for the long break and many of you asked me to create an alarm clock in JavaScript. Let's do it today. For this lesson, all you need is uh, audio file for your alarm. Yeah, let's begin without any further ado. And many of you keep on asking me for the source code. Source code will be always available in the video description. And if you are not a subscriber, consider subscribing. Let's create a new file. I'm sorry. Let's create a new file. And I just want to store it inside my alarm clock directory. Okay, let's insert our HTML snippet. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a input uh, inside this I'm going to have daytime local and ID and a button so when this button is clicked I just want to call this method set alarm okay I just add one more attribute to this alarm button something like that okay let's add the JavaScript code okay what we need to do is first we need to access this element in JavaScript so before that I just want to open that page in browser so that we can get an idea yeah this is what we have got right now okay let's get the element so this what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the milliseconds from this uh, input element document dot get element by ID alarm time so when I put a value it will give the exact value what is mentioned in the text box uh, instead of that I just want to get value as number so this will give me the uh, milliseconds so if it is if the date is not properly mentioned this will return a NAN which means not a number so if that is the case what I'll do is I'll say invalid date and I return okay let's try it quickly okay the date is not mentioned I'm getting the error invalid date okay well once the date is mentioned I just convert that into JavaScript date object but did this date will not be proper I just want to convert that into UTC so new date of alarm dot get UTC full year I'm sorry for that I'm sorry month and this is a stupid work but get UTC hours we need to get all the things get UTC minutes oh my god yeah finally we are done so this will give me the long time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the difference between the current time and the given alarm time so alarm time I'm sorry and this difference will be in milliseconds okay alarm time dot get time and current time so 
no it will give the current date and time from that i'm going to get the milliseconds so i'm subtracting these values when the value is less than zero which means that a uh, particular time or date is already passed so i just alert specified time is already passed some warning and return don't forget this okay once everything is fine what we need to do is we need to we need to call we need to init the alarm so init alarm is the method that we are going to write uh, in a in a in a minute init alarm and it should be called after this particular milliseconds let's write this function init alarm actually this init alarm will play the song so to play the sound i'm just going to define those variables alarm sound equal to new audio and alarm sound dot source equal to uh, i guess this is the name for that file let me ensure once yeah alarm dot mp3 so the file name is proper so what we are going to do in this method is just alarm sound dot play that's it when the alarm is on on uh, we can show some options like stop alarm or snooze those options we can give so alarm options and by default you should be hidden yeah and two buttons inside this okay one is snooze five minutes i uh, snooze five minutes and one is uh, stop along okay let's write the on click event and snooze on click and stop alarm okay let's write these two methods here okay when the alarm is on we, we need to show that option set uh, get element by id alarm options style dot display i'm sorry for this and this will be our stop alarm first let's write this okay one when the alarm is when this stop event is called what we need to do is we need to stop this audio play but we don't have any method call, uh, like stop so what we can do is we can pause this and we can set the current time to zero so this will uh, this will be equal to the stop method so anyway it's not present and document dot get element by id so alarm option should be hidden at this moment so to hide that we need to add none okay let's handle the snooze i like this option yeah this is very useful uh one whenever the snooze is um clicked we need to stop the alarm first and we need to initiate the tie alarm after this uh, milliseconds actually what we have taken is 5 minutes so 5 into 60 seconds into 1000 so which means 36000 so we need to pass this here 36000 yeah i think we have covered everything here um let me check once okay uh, once the alarm is being set uh, we should have the option to cancel the alarm also so what i'm going to do is do here is in this set alarm i'm going to have this option 
uh, button I just want to access this button okay I'm passing this this element here so I will get this button here button button dot in a text cancel alarm so I'm I, I just want to change the on click event also you can do this in I, actually we can do this in a different way but for simplicity I'm doing like this on click and cancel alarm so we need to write this method definition cancel alarm and here also you will get a button so inside that you can do the reverse operation like button dot inner text set alarm and button dot inner text equal to mm, I'm sorry set attribute on click and set alarm yeah anything else okay let's test it quickly okay what's the time right now 1 5 a.m. okay let's set it quickly 1 5 okay what's the okay it's a.m. <laughs> everything okay let's uh, let me set 1 6 and set alarm okay we need to wait for so long so uh, let's do some other thing in that time yeah when the alarm is stopped that time also we need to cancel the alarm so cancel alarm and document dot get element by we need to pass the button there so I'm just doing this oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god so loud I'm sorry I cancelled it I didn't even test the snooze because of the sound it okay alarm button so I think everything we covered yeah oh okay the important thing we are missed okay what if okay for example I have set alarm for some some for some time like one okay one six is right now I let me say to one eight and AM I said the alarm immediately I want to cancel the alarm so in that now we don't have that option we have the button but it won't cancel because we are not uh, maintaining the reference for this set timeout so let me add one variable here alarm timer so we need to have this reference alarm timer and inside this cancel alarm we need to clear the timeout uh, yeah clear timeout alarm timer yeah let's try it once okay 112 time is 17 so let's try 18 set alarm I should be ready to okay now I cancel it will be cancelled actually you can test it uh, in your local machine I don't want to waste the time by testing those things and I think you can able to hear the sound I'm going to stop the alarm yeah stopping alarm is working fine yeah this is all about creating a alarm clock in JavaScript thank you and source codes will be available in the description please download if you want and if you're not a subscriber please consider subscribing thanks for watching this video bye bye